Eden to Blue Baby for a streak of 20. Let's see how this goes. We've got... Oh, God. Oh, God. We have Vanishing Twin. Okay, that this run can either be incredible really quickly or a complete disaster. We do have the Pinking Shears, which makes Vanishing Twin a lot better. If you don't know what Vanishing Twin does... <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be in for a treat once we hit the boss <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it for those of you who haven't seen the item <laughs> oh right it's blind curse ah let's go for it Ew! daddy oh my god oh no do I take that that can be Tarot cloth. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Strength card. Yo, sick. What the? I could, <laughs> I could use the pinking shears to get that. <laughs> I, I, I think I need to save the pinking shears. I think I need to save the pinking shears for the boss fight because of vanishing twin. The world, sure, why not? Hero cloth, do anything extra with the world? No. There's a bomb in here, but unlikely we're gonna get five cents. There is a mid-boss fight, and we do want to take that, I think. Uh, it can't be greed, of course, because it's no store, so we can't really make a whole lot of money there. But it, it could be gluttony, which could be a health up. It could be sloth, which could be five bombs. It could be a lot. Oh, it could be a syringe. Yeah, right. Could be the virus. That's not the virus. Maybe battery in the sack. All right. So here's what Vanishing Twin does. In the boss fight, it copies the boss and gives you an extra boss, an, ex an extra boss to fight. And uh, the catch is that if you can beat the double boss fight, you get an extra item. That's Lost Coin and PJs. All right. Not not bad. Not bad. Hey, everyone. This is your secret call out of the day. If you made it to this part of the video, let me know in the comments by congratulating me on the twins. As always, I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs before the end of the month. So if you enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you could support me by leaving a like and a sub. Actually, does it copy Delirium? I think I actually read it copies Delirium. Dude, this could have been so much worse if we had gone to literally any other boss. <laughs> Honestly, like, this would have been way worse without the pinking shears, too. Eden's Blessing really tried to mess us up here. Man, it sure is trying to make me eat pills. I'm not sure it works. I, I'm not sure it copies every single boss. I'd have to read that up. I'm not, like, I'm not even sure it copies the final bosses at all. I think I read... I, I seem to remember reading that it copies Delirium, but... I, I wouldn't be willing to bet on that. D7, I am not dropping these pinking shears. That just ain't happening. Daddy! Thanks. <laughs> well done. I think Mother would be the hardest because props wouldn't survive alt route. Yeah, Mother would be particularly nasty because it would copy all the, the alt path bosses, which are significantly harder too. Wiki says the effect doesn't occur against mini bosses and end of chapter bosses such as mom, mom's heart. Okay. So mother would probably be the hardest for sure then, just because the alt path bosses are way harder. Oh my god, imagine vanishing twin against great Gideon. <laughs> I am so glad that we have the path available that we do.
This is a big floor. All right, double. Uh, I forgot this guy's name. Little horn. There we go. All right, rotten meat and Mr. Dolly. This is a blue baby run, so we can take a devil deal, no problem. Oh my god. We look. We haven't seen a knife in a really long time. And we're getting double bosses. There's no way I'm not taking that. <laughs> GG. Next. <laughs> we found the insta win. For the first time on the... Oh. <laughs> Some runs just have it all for... <laughs> All right, let's just uh, let's just get this over with, shall we? Speed run time, chat. Uh, I don't have a key. Great. Hey, look, a key. So now, vanishing twin is solely a buff. Honestly, like I didn't want to say it at the first, but with the pinking shears, it probably was a buff from the get go. But now it's like an omega buff. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, there's a path at the bottom. First guy died before the second one even spawned. Tear rate, not super useful with the knife, but the charge rate is okay. Blind curse means we're not even going to waste our time with the item room. The Wall of Lazarus. Oh my God. The previous one was four, this is five. I think the previous run wasn't a full, some runs just have it all, honestly. It took too long to come together. I have like this this internal list of criteria for a some runs just have it all episode. I think the last one just doesn't quite qualify. But this is certainly the kind of run that you don't come across very often. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna run this knife into a soy milk, so we're definitely not going in there. Also, imagine if we found uh, a planetarium with the item that makes the door stay open. Fallen! Wait, am I gonna get two, two um, devil items now too? The nail. Little brimstone. Do I even go in there? I guess the soul hearts are nice. Streamer duck. Fallen could have actually gotten... Oh my god, another one? Fallen could have actually gotten pretty nasty without that knife, to be honest. Because the pinking shears clearly didn't do enough damage and, and the fight would have been... Would have been actually legitimately difficult. Raise the knife. Planetarium chance. Do we skip another item room? Probably. I mean, let's be real. I have a scientific proof that I do not need any more items to beat the run. <laughs> so. So let's just let's just skip the item room. I mean, I'm not risking picking up a soy milk because knife soy milk is the definition of a bad time. Blind planetarium. I mean, planetarium really only has one item that's bad and with a knife, it's really just inconvenient mostly. The moon. Maybe that's actually better. 
Wheel of Fortune. Reverse Wheel of Fortune could still kill the run. If it triggers a D100. Man, my knife tosses have certainly been more accurate at some point in my life. I can assure you of that. Case in point. I don't want that. Whoa! These guys have a damage shield, don't they? The hush flies. An anonymous user gifted a tier 1 sub to Mooney Knight. Yo, anonymous! Thank you for the gift sub to Mooney! Appreciate it. Wait, how does this work? Okay. I am thoroughly disappointed that my knife doesn't get bigger from the eye drops. What is it with the curses? Hello? What is this? The game is trying to make this run as inconvenient as possible. Also, frankly, there's a severe lack of some of the bulkier enemies instantly dying considering we have a knife and a damage multiplier. What makes your knife bigger? I don't think anything makes a knife bigger, actually. Part of the reason why people hate it so much, right? Because it doesn't synergize with many things. I mean, we could steal from the boss rush. There was the X rock there. But at the same time. <laughs> at the same time, it's a. It's a lost floor, so it's gonna be gigantic and, and it's gonna take forever to backtrack, so... Unless there's like the mind in there, I don't really think it's gonna be worth it. Is this run even losable? I don't know. Jupiter? Mercurius. Oh no, that's the one I meant! Right, I can never tell these apart. Oh my god. It's the ultimate speedrun chat. world record wall street nah this is far from world record i actually i actually kind of regret the fact that i looked at the single character world record the other day because now i can't do a react to it on stream but like the single character world record right now is a bit over three minutes it's an absolutely nutty run and i love it but we're obviously way past that <laughs> game might as well play itself at this point does that world record include tarot reading a uh, card reading yes card reading is absolutely the most busted item for speed running Could explain the world record to us non speedrunners. It, it's really not that like complex either. Unfortunately, like I, I really don't think it would make for a good YouTube video. 
It's really impressive to watch, but it's not exactly confusing what's going on. Wait, what? How did I miss that? Double bloat? You think that's gonna stop me? Seriously? Um, sure. Oh. That time I got it. Interesting. Ah, yes. This really takes me back to the speedrunning days. <laughs> Just like back then. Oops. Whoa, that was fancy. I'm just going to touch that for the Polaroid proc. It isn't copied either. No, that counts as a chapter boss. Nothing's going to be copied from here on out. Not enough door frames for the old times. Like, I mean, I can run into a door frame for you there. And there. All right. I got the quota of door frames in. I love how even the doors in the chest stay open. Back in my days, it was absolutely unthinkable to get any item that would help you skip chest rooms. And now here we are. Look at how far we've come. Even, oh no. Even skipping chest rooms. Urgh. Loops, brother. You have some loops. Hey everyone, just wanted to extend a quick thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and a sub as it really helps out the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. GG.